Flourless peanut butter cookies are delicious and easy to make with only three ingredients. In this bowl, I have one cup of white sugar as I measure it 210 grams. I also have one cup of smooth or creamy peanut butter. I'm using a natural peanut butter, but not the natural kind that has oil separation. This type of natural peanut butter looks like regular peanut butter, for lack of a better way of describing it, or not natural peanut butter, because a lot of the peanut oil has been replaced with palm oil. That's why it's smoother, it doesn't have that oil separation. This is the type you want to use. I personally have not used the type that separates with the oil on the top, but my guess is that it's not going to work out. I've used that in Rice Krispie Treats, and this kind is definitely better. Like I said, it's one cup, or as I measured it in grams, 256 grams. All I did is I looked at the label. It said two tablespoons was 32 grams, so I did the math, four tablespoons and a quarter cup. I got 256 grams along with one large egg. All I'm going to do is scrape the creamy peanut butter and you can use crunchy if you want, no problem at all, into the bowl. After scraping the peanut butter, now I'm going to take my handheld electric mixer and start to incorporate the peanut butter and the sugar. I just finished combining the peanut butter and the sugar. One thing that I wanted to point out is that, as I'm sure you saw, my sugar was a bit lumpy, so I had to break it up with the beaters, but that's no problem at all. Now I'm going to add one large egg. I'm going to continue beating until everything is combined. Although this three ingredient flourless peanut butter cookie recipe is good as it is, I almost forgot I was going to add a quarter teaspoon of salt just because I think a little bit of salt will help the flavors to really come out. Add a little bit of, actually I'm gonna do eighth of a teaspoon. An eighth of a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna continue. Doing it. Now that my flourless peanut butter cookie dough is ready, I'm preheating the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm putting the cookies on the cookie sheet. I'm using a pizza pan. I use it for a lot of things, including cookies. And I just simply sprayed it with some canola oil and I'm using a one tablespoon to measure out the dough. So all I'm doing is I am digging my tablespoon down into the dough Pressing it down slightly, taking off the excess dough, scooping my fingers in there, and putting it onto the cookie sheet. Do they have to be perfect? No, they do not, because once I get a few on this pizza pan, which I'm using as a cookie sheet, I will go through and give them that characteristic design. Now it's time to give these flourless peanut butter cookies their characteristic shape. So all I'm doing is I'm taking a fork and I'm pressing it down on the cookie in one direction and then pressing it down on the cookie again in the other direction. So you can think of it as vertically and horizontally. I wanted to add that aside from a little bit of salt between an eighth and up to maybe a quarter teaspoon of salt. You could add one teaspoon of vanilla 
and one teaspoon of baking soda to these cookies. But honestly, there are a lot of recipes for three ingredient peanut butter cookies on the internet. So I think just this will be fine. And what's good about these flourless cookies is that in a time when the grocery stores are not as stocked as they usually are, you should be able to find peanut butter, sugar, and one egg fairly easily. So now that I have shaped my peanut butter cookies, I'm going to put them into the oven at 350. My flourless peanut butter cookies just came out of the oven. They were in for 15 minutes, so longer than I had anticipated originally. You can see they're starting to turn brown around the edges. I think they took longer because they're kind of crowded on here. So your baking time may vary. That one actually looks like it needs to go back in for a little bit longer. So I'm going to let these cool on the baking sheet for five minutes and then I'm going to transfer them preferably to a wire rack but I'm just going to put them on this other pizza pan. And then once they cool off, I will enjoy. My flourless peanut butter cookies are now done. I did two batches, a total of I think 20 to 22 cookies. But to be honest, I'm not quite sure because I've been doing some quality assurance testing and I can assure you that they're delicious. They're crispy on the outside, but smooth and soft on the inside. They are absolutely delicious. They have that characteristic fork imprint design on the top. These are really easy. Only three ingredients are required. Salt is optional. Vanilla, baking soda, those two things are optional. I might add those next time to see how they change the recipe. But these no flour peanut butter cookies are really great especially now because as we all know the grocery store doesn't always have everything we want especially flour seems like sugar is okay now and eggs are coming back but flour is still kind of hard to find so if you want a flourless recipe either because you can't find flour or maybe because you're gluten free these cookies are really easy I did need a special cutter I whipped them together pretty quickly absolutely delicious so be sure you give these peanut butter cookies a try thanks for watching see you next time bye